Hey guys, Wave618 here and we've got an incredibly important video today. We have seen a massive sell-off in Bitcoin all the way down from 35k to 28k. That's a 20% drop in price. Yet we've seen this huge response here. We've seen a massive bounce in the price. So the big question remains, are we still very much in a bull trend or are we going to see the massive reversal in trend here and a big sell-off to the downside so these are the main talking points of today's video we're going to discuss these key pitchforks you can see one of them here on the chart that's very important on top of that we are going to go through the key targets that we're looking at inclusive of this count here where we've got this fib projection all the way up here to 39k potentially on top of that we're going to look at the very quickly just a look at the relationship between the dollar we're going to look at the RSI. We're obviously in very overbought territory here on the weekly time frame. And then we're going to also look at the gap fill that we recently had. And on top of that, we're going to have a quick look at the Bitcoin dominance chart, which seems to be sitting at support right now. So if all that sounds interesting, stay tuned. All right, guys, so first things first, just want to say a massive thank you to you all for showing your appreciation for the channel. The like to dislike ratio of recent has been off the charts. Really, really very impressed from you guys. And as you know, we kind of dropped the amount of content that I was producing over the last several months. And I hope to turn that around and I'm hoping the videos will come thick and fast now. And as long as you're showing your likes, showing your comments, I will be very happy to continue with that trend. So... As you know, those of you that will be commenting will be entering the raffle to win access to the juice and that today's winner will be revealed at the end of the video. Whilst any comments from today's video will go into the raffle of the next video. And just before we dive on into the technical analysis, as you all know, if you want to get access to my updates first before anybody else, then you want to join Cryptology, which is the group. You can check that over at my website here at wave618.com. Cryptology is down here. You can click on the link for more details. If you want the link to my website or to this page in particular, you'll find that in the pinned comment of this video as well as the description of the video. And I'd, you're going to get full access to my full educational content. That's over 20 hours of educational content. You're going to get coverage of the top 50 market caps and you get access to the Discord where we talk about the my basically my updates where I post them before I post them anywhere else, before they go on YouTube, before they go on Twitter. So this is where they're discussed and I've been running through some key things that we're going to discuss in today's video. Already we've mentioned them on the Discord. So with that said, let's dive on into the technical analysis. So first things first, we've got this pitchfork and this has been holding price action really, really well. As you can see, since we broke out this range at 24K, we've been held within the pitchfork really, really nicely. It timed the um, the it held the price here and recognized the resistance here at the upper warning line. And again, the upper warning line held as a resistance here. And it did actually anticipate this big sell-off. And we actually broke the pitchfork to the downside. So typically, once you see a break of a major pitchfork to the upside, especially after you can count a potential five waves up, a one, two, three, four, five, then you break it to the downside. That can be very concerning. Okay, so definitely... There is, I am looking at this bull trend with a lot of caution right now. Yeah, once I saw this break, I was, I was thinking this is it. This is a potential reversal. However, that said, there are some key reasons for why we got a big bounce here. So the question is, is it a dead cat bounce where we've gone up and we're just going to come tumbling back down? Or is it the start of a new uptrend where we're going to take out this all time high? And to be honest, I don't feel that the market has made up its mind just yet. There are some key levels that I want to see overcome to determine if we are in fact bullish or that we're going to see come tumbling down from here but it was a very good response as you can see we're on the hourly time frame here and you can see the amount of time spent outside of the pitchfork was very very minimal it's only really these wicks to the downside whilst the the bodies of the candles were very much held within the pitchfork i'm still quite happy that the pitchfork has just about held okay so there is the argument that we could potentially still push to the upside so that's just looking at this uh, pitchfork here now just going over the high time frame targets um, first of all we've got this one here so this is really zoomed out on the weekly time frame here and we basically I've got this Fibonacci projection looking at it as you all know from the 2017 high up here this 
to me has been looking quite three wavish a lot of it looking corrective in this point here yes i know we've got these parabolic moves and to be honest whether it's corrective as an abc as we've got drawn here or whether it's a one two three four five it really doesn't change anything you still got to have caution around key technical levels and trade it in a very similar fashion okay but it is useful to have these potential major Elliott wave counts because it helps you determine potential long-term levels of resistance in particular this level of resistance at 39k or closer to 40k even that's the 1.382 fib projection of the a wave so if you do draw your fib retracement tool from here down to here you'll get your projections up and above so you've got your 1.236 at 30.4k which we've already overcome yeah and then you've got your 40k level here the 1.382 fib projection so those are two key targets that i'm looking at okay so we've already hit this first target the 1.236 where the next major high time frame target was this 40k level now there are some more uh, fine-tuned targets that we can also look at so if we come back to this live chart here where we're on the hourly and I just want to pull up the daily chart well, in fact we'll go on the weekly and I want to pull up the Camarilla pivot so Camarilla pivots are incredibly important I think everybody should be using these uh, this is actually what's covered in the juice that's the what you can potentially have access to in the raffle um, so yeah I go through Camarilla pivots I go through pitch rocks in a lot of detail on how to use them but yeah let's just take off all the other annotations and just take a look at Camarilla pivots for a moment so uh, yeah let's stay on the log scale and just expand this so we can see it a bit clearer but yeah Camarilla pivots why are they useful because they really the levels get hit time and time again so in the weekly time frame you can see the s4 this is where we actually find eventual support and in the next period so when we're on the weekly each period is a year so for this year here in 2019 where did we find resistance it was at the r4 Okay. going into 2020 where do we find support at the s3 we ran into the r3 and we actually managed to close massively above the r4 confirming the uptrend and um, then what you look for into your next period is obviously we're still in our bull trend but you want to see how price reacts at the next levels of, resi of resistance which is the r3 which in this case sits at 36k so remember that level because there is a lot of confluence between 35.5 and 36k so i'll mention the other reasons for resistance at that level in a moment but the other level is here at roughly 43k that's where the r4 is okay all right but first bit of resistance to think about is that 36k level all right don't forget that point very very important so if we now come down to our next key time frame which is the daily you'll see some more Camarilla pivots which are very very influential so we've got here uh, the 32.2k and when we zoom in you'll see our price has been respecting that level incredibly well so that is the r3 all right and the R4 in this case is 35.5. So as I said, around 35.5 to 36K, we've got a lot of confluence. So we've got the R4 on the daily time frame, and we've got the R3 on the weekly time frame. Okay, just on the subject of Camarilla pivots, we'll now come down to the hourly. And here you'll see how the S4 acts as wonderful support here for this major wick to the downside. So we hit the S4, and now we're just hovering around the S3. So it'll be interesting to see how it reacts here. But that was one reason for a good... Uh, reaction here off of the s4 so this is the main thing i want to discuss with the camera pivots don't forget what i said about the daily camera pivot this r3 if we go on the, uh, that's at 32.2k and it price is kind of hovering around that level uh, where it's acting as support and resistance quite a few times so and if we go on the hourly we'll see that a bit better um, i think even the 15 minutes better than that so here's your 32.2 okay we just draw a level at 32.2 so in and around this point here you have got yeah very nice support here now flip to resistance so you really want to see price get above that level okay and i've spoken about that with uh the group basically as i still maintain we're very much in an indecision phase here about whether we're going into a bull trend or we're going to collapse and for me to look for long positions i want to see us get get above this level of 32.2k but also above the upper sorry the lower median line of this pitchfork so that's this blue line here i want to see us get firmly back within the pitchfork so getting above the lower median line would be a good establishment of that and also getting above this key odb level um so it's actually an ODB 
level and it's um, a key um, a camera pivot level of, as we've discussed okay so that is the kind of confirmation I would want to see to confirm we're back in this uptrend because at the moment if we just take off the annotations a moment let's take off the camera pivots um, at the moment you can argue we've come down in pretty emphatic fashion and it could be the start of a you know a major downtrend it could be it's not the cleanest count but you can argue a may possibly a, a one two three four five down and then how far have we bounced well it's it comes to the 0.618 which is quite typical of a wave two so could it just come flying down from here well it's possible but in my opinion it's not the cleanest five waves down there's lots of arguments for why that's not really a wave one it doesn't look very five wavish in nature and on top of that the wave four overlaps with wave one so again it's not a perfect Elliott wave sequence so um, and also the bounce has been very aggressive relative to the move down so it does beg the question are we still very much in this uptrend um, there is the other scenario when you see this kind of sharp move down followed by a slower move up that takes out the previous high you've got to think about a possible running or expanded flat and in this case there's the argument for the expanded flat where that's the a that's the b and that's the c yeah you could argue that yeah so whenever you get a sharp move down and then suddenly you start going up so it looked quite impulsive but then we bounce back up always think is it the a wave of a bigger abc so there is the possibility of that expanded flat sequence there which would again support this as being major support with us going back into our uptrend taking out this all-time high and pushing even higher forward so those are the key things that I'm looking at right now so let's just talk about this 28k mark so I've mentioned a couple of reasons for why that was significant so first of all we've got the one hourly camera pivot s4 which we've discussed uh, on top of that there's another key pitchfork so that's this one here so this was just looking at the first three major pivots so first second third pivots so it was an original pitchfork with a steep gradient to the downside you can see how the upper warning line held as very good resistance and you can see how the lower warning line acts as very acts as very good support so again it's a good illustration of how useful pitch rocks really are and again if you want to gauge a little bit of a show of strength here you would want to see us come above this upper warning line that would tell you that the the first wave down has been completed as long as we're still within this downward pitch rock, there's the argument that we could just come rolling down even further and then i'd be deeply concerned about a much greater retracement okay as it stands I'm still quite happy that this bigger pitch rock to the upside is just about holding on, but look how tight it is. Very, very tight indeed. I'm very interested to see how we get on a, what kind of close we get on the daily close. I think that would be a very good uh, determination of whether we're in a, a good bull trend or not. So let's just clean this up. Let's take off that pitch fork. And um, yeah, other key things to talk about. So we've discussed already the fib projection and the higher time frame. We've got the trend between the dollar and the and bitcoin yeah so this is the dollar on the top you can see since march so we're on the weekly time frame since march so basically when coronavirus really hit we had a big sharp downward move in the dollar and it correlated inversely with bitcoin going to the upside yeah now the question is what is going to happen with the dollar now actually looking at it we're continuing to see that downward trend even here this week we're continuing to see that downward trend on the dollar so again it further supports that kind of strength in bitcoin and obviously with the deal being made between the uk and europe that was strong for europe which basically means that's weak for the dollar and which is a good sign for bitcoin which is inversely related to the dollar okay next thing to discuss is the rsi this is the weekly time frame we can all see we've gone up very very parabol parabolically i don't know if that's a word but we've gone up in very exponential fashion and you can see the rsi here i've marked out how it's really hit these really extreme levels in the past based on these parabolic moves so here we hit 97 here we hit 99 here we hit the 96 on the rsi here 90 on the rsi and then 94 right here yeah so that's what we're currently at so as you can see there's potential room to the upside we have reached these 96 to 99 levels in the past but don't forget we are at incredibly high levels and there is going to come that point that we, that we see a big big correction okay whether it's just a temporary correction and then we push straight back up or it's a big reversal altogether it doesn't really matter we're going to see some sharp price action to the downside and you don't want to be holding on to a position through that you really do not okay 
Bitcoin has been known to make these parabolic moves up and then do some crazy retracements after it. Okay, so just be aware that that is possible. Even if you are long-term bullish Bitcoin, I, I well personally, I, I'd be protecting my profits. So that's just a quick look at the RSI. Next thing is the gap. So it was a very nice gap fill when we made this move down to 28k. We filled this gap here. There are obviously there's a huge gaping gap all the way here at 24k. Um, and then further below, you've got a gap here at 18k and then one at 17k. So lots and lots of gaps that could very well get filled eventually. Yes, yeah? especially if we do get that major reversal eventually in Bitcoin. But I still feel that there's a potential for further upside here in Bitcoin. We've discussed the upside targets that we could potentially see. All right. So and then last but not least, just to talk about Bitcoin dominance. So again, we found support. We're following this original pitch up with our first, second and third pivots. And you can see how we we found resistance at the upper median line on three occasions. We came down pretty sharpish, but we found support at the median line. And there's an ODB level, which it hit absolutely square on. And you can see the ODB level here that got hit. And I've been actually looking at a potential move to 88 percent here on Bitcoin dominance. OK, so just coming back to the Bitcoin chart, um, I'm thinking that we have probably covered everything that I want to discuss. As you can see, we're seeing a little bit of a um, show of strength here on the 15 minute chart. I really want to see how the day closes. I want to see us stay within this upward pitch rock for me to be happy that we are still very much within this upward trend. I want to see for confirmation, I'm waiting for price to get above this uh, lower median line and above this key Camarilla pivot level here. So this is sitting at around 32.2K. Personally, I want to see how price reacts to that point because at the moment you can argue it is overhead resistance. You can see it acts as good support here, which is flipped to resistance. So you want to see it overcome that level, which is currently acting as resistance. So I think we've pretty much covered the key things in this uh, in this video. So. Um, yeah, hopefully that has been useful. Leave a big thumbs up if you are finding value in the content. Leave your comments if you've got uh, anything, any queries that you might want to ask. And um, yeah, I think we now we'll just take a look at the, the raffle as promised. So if we just pull that up, I've already put the URL. We've got the comments retrieved of which is 53 and we'll start the raffle now. OK, so the winner is Luke T, who basically just gave their target and who knows they may have uh, predicted the future there 37 to 40k yeah I can't really argue with that I have been looking for targets in a similar region but Luke T send me an email email is in the description to the video and you have won free access to the juice all right guys we are going to wrap it up there take care <laughs>